Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're making Bluey. So this is Bluey. He is a TV character. He is a blue healer dog. So you're going to need some light blue, some navy blue, yellow, white, black. There's mouth. That's about it. Let's jump right into it. I'm using a 5mm hook for this project because most of the yarn that I'm using in this project calls for a 5.5. Most of it is, well, all of it other than the black and the white are CraftSmart. And CraftSmart's a little on the thicker side of a four weight, but it's just a four weight. My black and my white is red heart. My black seems really thick as usual, and my white is, you know, kind of in between. But they all basically call for a 5.5. I'm using a five millimeter H hook because we're gonna build this in amigurumi. So you're also gonna need um, a stitch marker and um, a row counter if you have one. They're handy dandy. So I think for chapter one we're gonna build arms, legs, and ears. And then chapter two we're gonna kinda put it all together type deal. Um, it just makes more sense to do it that way. I can end chapter one with all the patterns on the screen so you can make your second pieces. And uh, so I think that'd be the quickest way to do the video. So we're going to start with white because we're going to make his little paws. Uh, any members that have my PDF that are following my PDF, arms is the first one that we come across. Now notice just above that, you're going to see what's called a puff stitch. And it is a pattern stitch. If you don't know how to do it, I've written the instructions on how to do it. And... Uh, and it's pretty super duper easy, so don't let it freak you out or anything. So um, we're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. So because we're working in amigurumi, we don't slip stitch and we don't chain. We go right into the stitch and we start working. So after the first stitch, that's where your marker goes. And then we put stitch number two into that same space. And then each space all the way around. So you should have a total of 12 stitches when you're done. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. Large jump, but I wanted a smaller increase. So that's number one with the marker. That's three single crochets, and then your next stitch gets an increase of two single crochets in the same space, and repeat. So I'm just going to flip this around because next round we're going to start our puff stitch.
Let's do our five single crochets and then I'll walk you through the puff stitch. So first we do five single crochets. The marker's number one. That's five single crochets. Into this next stitch, you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop five times. So it's going to be pretty squishy. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull it up. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Two more times. And I know it's going to get hard to get in there. I'm using this type of a hook just so I have the space. If you're using clovers, you might not have the space to get in there and then we pull through all of that puff and then we chain one to secure the stitch and then I want you to put one single crochet in this very next stitch which is almost sitting on top of the puff stitch so then we do it again in this next stitch you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop five times so that's one two three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through all of that, chain one. And then right in here with this tiny little stitch you can barely see, one single crochet. One more time. <laughs> And then you're going to do five single crochets back to your marker. And that is your puff stitches. So now you can just kind of poke them out using your fingers. And that's it for the puff stitch until we get to building the foot. We're all done that part. So pretty quick, pretty easy peasy. A little hard on the fingers. I got fingers splitting open over here. This is my dry skin, so. So this next round is a little weird on where you know where to put your stitches, so I'll walk you through that. You need to get 15 stitches all the way around. It's just one single crochet in each stitch. But because we just did a pattern stitch, it's hard to know where to put your hook. So count five, because that's what we did before the puff stitch. So this here that looks like a stitch is not. That's just where we pulled across. So put one right on the very top of your puff. That should be number six. Skip this one, but then go right into this one. Seven. And then the one right on top of your puff is eight. Again, skip this next stitch and go into this next one. Nine. Go on the very top one of the puff is ten. And then Starting in the very next space, five single crochets back to your marker makes 15. There. Our foot is done. Plus, I mean, it's not done. Our foot is done. Now we got to start with the legs. So we're going to decrease here. Um, just to get back down to the size that I want the leg. So we're going to do a three single crochet decrease. So now that we've got our stitches confirmed in the spaces they're supposed to be in, that's number one with the marker. That's three single crochets and then your decrease. Now I am going to do invisible because it is a foot and foot decreases always look horrible. So the invisible ones are just done in the front loops only. I'll show you. 
in case you're not familiar. That's three single crochets and then in the front loops. So you go into the first front loop and then you pop around and go into the second front loop. Then you yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, finish the stitch. One more time. One last decrease. And that is our little footsie. Well, it's for the arm, but it's a dog, so it has four feet. Four legs, technically, but this is the arm portion of the dog, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. Anyway, for the next two rows, you should have 12 stitches, and you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. We're going to switch colors after this, too. So I'm all the way back around. I haven't finished my last stitch because I'm going to go to blue after. So my last stitch will be finished with the blue. So I just want to stuff this foot a little bit before I start building the leg. Just make sure that this stays flat. And then again, you can still probably puff out your puff stitches. This little toesies. Doesn't take much to stuff. So I'm going to go into my next stitch and I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to go to blue. And if you're new to my channel, I tie my stuff together and I cut it off because I don't like weaving. It's not difficult or anything. I just feel it makes one one side of the project thicker than the other side of the project, and I don't like it. So that's just why I do the knot, because nobody will ever know that this knot is even there. So it'll be inside. So now that we're switched to blue, however you want to switch to blue, you don't have to do what I do. For the next 12 rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. So easy to remember. 12 and 12. 12 stitches, 12 rows. And I will see you on the other side. So that is my 12 rows done. We have one more row, decrease row, and then we can fasten off. So I'm just making sure that my arm is good and stuffed. So your last round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. That's number one. That's number two. And I'm just going to do a regular decrease because we're right at the very end, so it doesn't really matter. So, when you fasten off, PDF users, it says this in the PDF. Make sure you fasten off with the spot you fasten off to be at the back of the paw. So it has to be at the back of the paw. The reason for that is because we're going to whip stitch it. So then when it gets sewn to the side of the body, the paws stick out front. So that's why it has to, you have to fasten off at the back. So your whip stitch goes in this direction, comparative to the claws. So that's what we need to do for the arms, both arms. So I'm not quite at the back. I just got a couple more stitches. So it's not going to hurt anything to add a couple more stitches, just to make sure I'm at the back. 
So you need a whip stitching tail and a sewing tail and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to put a little more stuffing in this and then we can whip stitch it. So again, that's my toes. I'm going this way with my whip stitch. Now, because of this knot, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So I always like to pull through first. And then I'm going to start my whip stitch by going back through the same hole. And starting my whip stitch, it just makes that look a little better. So, I'm not going to put the pattern up yet. We're going to jump right into the leg. And then the ear, and then all the patterns go up at the end of chapter one. So next, we will do the feet as it's written in the PDF, but we're going to do the leg. So we're going to do the puff stitch in this one too, obviously, because it's a little footsie. So we're going to start with the magic ring of six single crochets. This one's just going to be a little bit bigger. Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. So the marker is always number one. Next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase. And this will bring it up to 18 stitches. That's one single crochet. And then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So your next round is going to be five single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 21 stitches. That's number one. That is five single crochets, and then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So this round, we're going we're gonna to start the puff stitch this round. So we're going to do eight single crochets. That's my eight single crochets. So we're going to do a puff stitch exact same way, yarn over and pull up a loop five times. Yarn over and pull through all of that and secure it with a single crochet. And then right next door you're going to put a single crochet. And then you're going to start your puff stitch again. One more time.
And eight single crochets back to your marker. So, now you just push them out that way. And your next stitch, round, your next stitch, your next round is going to be 21 stitches. So, again, we have to make sure we're getting into the right stitches along the way. So that's number one. So count out eight stitches because that's how many we did before we started our puff stitch. And then go to the top of this stitch for your ninth stitch. Skip this next one, go into the next one for number 10. The one at the top of the puff for 11. Skip this next one and go into the next one for 12 the top of the puff for 13 and then carry on so that's my 21 stitches push my puffs out. So we're going to decrease the next round and we're going to do five single crochets and a decrease and this will bring me back down to 18 stitches. That's number one. That's five single crochets and then again just like the arm I'm going to do my invisible decrease there we go so for the next two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. And then we're going to switch to blue. So that's my two rows. I'm on my last stitch and I'm going to switch to blue. So with my blue, I'm going to do eight rows of one single crochet in each stitch. You still only have 18 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So this is my eight rows, however, where I ended up, <coughs> I'll explain. So the first leg you do, you can fasten off of. And I fastened off over on the side for sewing because I stopped here. So I did a couple more stitches till I was kind of over here so I could sew the legs together. Well, I've stopped off nearly the same spot <laughs> and it's kind of in my way so 
I'm just gonna move this a couple of stitches over like I did my other one just so that it's out of the way now leg number two you don't fasten off leg number two so because this is my leg number two I can't fasten off but it's your first leg so you can go ahead and fasten off and just remember when you make leg number well you don't have to remember I'll put it in the um, I'll put it in the pattern so you won't have to remember so um, we go to completely different colors now for the ear you're going to need your navy and your yellow. So PDF users, you're going to have to scroll down a bit until you find the ears. And this is what we're making, is the ear. Now it is a little bit stuffed, um, just so that they stand completely straight up, <laughs> because that's what his ears do. They stand on end all the time so I did put a little bit of stuffing in there so so after we're done making the ear that's I'm gonna kinda let you go and you can make your that'll be the end of chapter one so anyway scroll down PDF users till you see um, ears should be just below the nose the blue line you'll see ears so we're gonna start with a magic ring of four single crochets do we need a tippy top we need a point 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 we need a point on the end of this ear so that is my four single crochets I'm gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around I'm gonna get another marker so again this is ambergrimi so we don't need to slip stitch just gonna go right into our first stitch. I'm gonna put a marker even though I don't need to but if you're not familiar to where your stitches are you might want to put a marker just so you know what you're doing and where you're going. So stitch number two is not this one right here that's the one you're in you gotta go over here. around the right way oh my magic ring closed I almost pulled my stitch out I grabbed the wrong piece oh. that's super tiny for my fat fingers So now I want you to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So not this stitch, because that's the stitch you're in. You gotta go kind of way over here. Not way over, but and two single crochets in each stitch will give you eight stitches. The next round is going to be one single crochet in each of these eight stitches. So now we're going to kind of go back to normal. So one single crochet and an increase. That's one single crochet. And then your next stitch gets an increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So 
So your next round is going to be one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 16 stitches and then I want you to follow it up with one single crochet in each stitch. So that's number one, that's number two, and then your increase. So your next couple of rounds are going to be three single crochets and an increase. This will bring you up to 20 stitches and then I want you to follow it up with one single crochet in each of the 20 stitches. Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase. And this will bring it up to 24 stitches and then I just want you to put one single crochet in each of those 24 stitches for two rows instead of one. So that's my two rows done. One final row before we fasten off and that's four single crochets and a decrease. That's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just doing a regular decrease because I'm at the end. So I'm not doing anything else. The only thing different I'm doing here is I'm yarning under just to keep it nice and tight. So I did put stuffing in this. Just a little bit though. So you can fasten off. You're going to need a sewing tail and a weaving tail, or a whip stitch tail. Like I want it to be there enough for this to stand up on its own, but not enough to make it really, really big. Like, like puffy letter full. Does that make sense? Puffy letter full? We just got to do the yellow part on it and that's like literally right below PDF users right below like I didn't even put a space in there I probably should have so get your yellow we're gonna chain seven And we're going to do six single crochets back up. So that's my six single crochets. You can chain one and turn. 
And then you're going to put one single crochet in each of these six stitches, so six more. So first do two single crochets, and then we're going to SC2 tug. So you see this written, that just means it's a decrease, so single crochet, two together, and then two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work, and put one single crochet in each of these five stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Now you're going to do two single crochets, SC2 tog, a decrease, and then one single crochet to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. You have four stitches for the next two rows. I just want you to put one single crochet in each of those four stitches. Chain one, turn your work. So now I want you to do one single crochet. I want you to decrease. And then one single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. So now I want you to decrease and do one single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. And then decrease these last two to give you a nice little point on top. And you can fasten off with a sewing tail. There. Our little triangle for our ear. So that's your ear. I didn't sew that on very well, but my ears, two ears now. So um, uh, this will be the end of chapter one. And the only thing that I really, really, really want you to make sure of is this leg fastening off on the side so you can sew it and not fastening off. Well, the second leg you make, actually, you're not going to fasten off. You're going to stay attached. When we come back in Chapter 2. This is the first stuff that we're working with. So, go ahead and I will put the patterns up on the screen. You can make all your little parts and I will see you in Chapter 2.
Hi guys, welcome back to chapter two. So, now that we have all of our body parts made, uh, we need to start building these two legs together. Other than that, the arms are actually just sewn on. I just wanted the legs built together. So, you should still be attached to one of them. So take the other one. And I used about six stitches to sew these together. I'm actually starting in the stitch behind where I am. That's my fifth stitch. I think I'm gonna go back this way and put my last, my sixth stitch into this last two back here just to make it kind of even. And then I'm going to re-go into those same spots to do my nine. So st six stitches all together. So now that you have everything sewn together, your next round is going to be, well, your first round, <laughs> your first round for the body is going to be three single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 35 stitches. So that's number one. That's three single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. So you're gonna count by fives. Here we go, three single crochets and an increase. And so now your stitches are kind of set. Your next round is gonna be four single crochets and an increase. So four single crochets and an increase for this round will bring you up to 42 stitches. So that's with the marker, one, two, three, four and then my increase of two single crochets in the same space. So your next round is going to be five single crochets and an increase, and this will bring you up to 49 stitches. That's kind of where we're going to stop our increases. That's number one. That's five single crochets, and then your increase of two single crochets <coughs> in the same space. And repeat. So this is what you should have. For the next 20 rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 49 stitches. And then that should bring you to this color. So this is 20 rows. So this is the whole entire body of bluey. And then we change to the darker blue. So for the next 20 rows, one single crochet in each of these 49 stitches, and I will see you on the other side.
So I am done my 20 rows. I'm just going to back out of this last stitch because I'm going to switch to the dark blue color. Now I'm at the back of my guy. So hopefully you are, if you're not, maybe kind of move to the back to do your color change. You will see a jog even though we do the color change the way we do. So I'm going to pull up a loop but I'm going to finish the stitch with my next color. And for the next 10 rows, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch with the new color. And then we'll meet back here for um, the decreases. This guy is pretty easy peasy. So I'm back, and that's my 10 rows already done. So I'm going to start stuffing mine. We got a few rows left of decreases before we close him right up, so I'm going to make sure he's stuffed pretty good. Really made sure my legs down here were nice and stuffed too. He's not all that fat. I stuffed him more in the belly than I did in the back. Anyway, so we're start decreasing. And our first round of decreases is going to be five single crochets and a decrease. That's number one. That's five single crochets, and then I'm going to do invisible decreases, so in my front loops only. This will bring you down to 42 stitches. So your next round is going to be four single crochets and a decrease and this will bring you down to 35 stitches. Oops. Let me get into the first stitch. Sometimes when you film you end up in certain positions <laughs> that make it hard to uh, crochet sometimes. That's four single crochets and then your decrease. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease and this will bring you down to 28 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease and this will bring it down to 21 stitches. That's number one with the marker. And number two and then your decrease. So 
So your last round is going to be one single crochet is going to de decrease. This will bring you down to 14 stitches and that is as far as we go. That is it. You can fasten off. So you'll need a cinching tail and a weaving tail. So I'll make sure that this is stuffed properly. Alright, so we're going to cinch this closed. So you're going to go through the front, front loops is all we're using. Go in the front loop and then go out the front loop all the way around. So when I secure this with a knot, I like to do it in both directions. So I probably could have put some more stuffing in my head, so I'm just gonna move my stuff around, make my head look better. A little bit of a divot there, but that's okay. This is what you should have. <laughs> Pretty funny looking, huh? So, um, I think this, before we sew on arms and ears, because we've got all that done, I think the smartest thing would be to do is follow the PDF, and we'll do the nose next. Muzzle. We'll do the muzzle next. So, the muzzle, the majority of it is yellow, but then we do one last final row with the blue just because that's his body color so uh, the majority of it is yellow though so we're gonna start with a magic ring of six single crochets that is my furnace trying to figure out a way to keep the sound from the furnace out of my studio. <laughs> There's some pretty expensive ideas on the table. So we're still doing this and I'm a groomy. Oops. So your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. Bringing you up to 12 stitches. So your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase and this will bring you up to 18 stitches. That's one single crochet. And then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat.
Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 24 stitches. So this is what you should have for the next three rows. You're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 24 stitches. And then we're going to change to the blue color for one last row. So I will meet you back for that. So I am on my very last stitch. So I'm going to go switch to blue. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to go to my blue color. So I'm only doing um, one round. So I'm not going to worry about what I normally do. I'm not going to worry about tying anything. Um, your last final round is just one single crochet in each stitch around so that finishes this off So that is it. I'm going to cut off my yellow. I just waved the yellow all the way around because if it's going to be thick, it might as well all be thick. <laughs> anyway, that is it. You can fasten off your blue. You're going to need a sewing tail. Um, so I did put a little stuffing in this before I actually sewed it to his face. Um, and then I stuffed it after. There's a few things we need to do first before we even sew this on. Um, the first thing is first we got to do this blue line that goes in the middle of his face. And then at some point we've got to sew the ears on the eyebrows the great big eyes just to kind of get a gauge on where we put the muzzle so it's a whole process so set your nose aside along with all your other body parts and then we'll uh, get to building this blue strip that he's got up his head so we're gonna make a slip knot we're gonna chain five We're going to do four single crochets back up. Oops. Oops. Chain one, turn your work. For the next three rows, just put one single crochet in each of these four stitches. So that's three rows of our four single crochets. Row number five, we're going to do two single crochets. This next stitch is going to get two single crochets in the same space, and then one single crochet. That will give you a total of five stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Round six, 
you're going to do just about the same thing. You're going to do two single crochets. So our increases are going to be in the middle of it. This next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And then two single crochets to finish the row. One in each stitch. Chain one. Turn your work. Round seven, you're going to do three single crochets. Then your increase in this next stitch of two single crochets in the same space. And then two single crochets to finish the round, or the row. Chain one, turn your work. Three single crochets to start the row. Then an increase. And then three single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. So for the next ten rows, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these eight stitches. So that is my 10 rows, so you can just fasten off. You'll need a sewing tail. So literally starting at the very bottom here. This should go all the way up to the magic ring. So if it doesn't because you are using different yarn than me or this is stuffed differently than mine is, then just put a few more rows till you have it where it goes all the way up to, there's where I fastened off, so all the way up to the center and then we're going to put the ears up here. So. You just got to make sure that this is straight, but don't try to stretch it. If it's not long enough, just add a few more rows. So I didn't sew down the sides or anything because I just didn't feel like it was necessary but I am just going to kind of weave my way So get your black and your white. We're going to make these eyeballs. You're going to make a slip knot. You're going to chain three. I want you to put one single crochet this next stitch I want you to put three single crochets so I shaped these pupils to be a certain shape. So this is going to want to curve around and I want you to follow the curve. So like we're working in the round, like we do with slippers or with feet. So follow the curve around. That's my slip knot. And on the other side of my slip knot, I'm going to go into that final stitch and then put two single crochets. 
everything can just get pulled tight and then go into your next stitch and just fasten off so that's a funny shaped pupil but Um, they're fairly big, but they need to be shaped like elongated, and that's why I did it like that. So when you sew it on, just make sure it's elongated. So go ahead and make your other one. Okay, so for the whites of the eyes, we're going to start with a slip knot and we're going to chain four. These first two stitches are going to get a half double crochet each stitch. You have one stitch left. I want you to put three half double crochets into that space and you're going to notice it kind of want to curve around and I just want you to follow that curve. So your slip knot is going to come undone a little bit so just pull that nice and tight. And then in the, slitch, the stitch right next to the slip stitch you're going to put a half double crochet. And then the last stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets in that space. So, starting in the next stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets. Let's put a stitch marker on that so we can follow along. So you can follow along. So two half doubles in that space. Your next stitch is going to get two single crochets. The next stitch will get two single crochets. These next two stitches right at the top, they're going to get two half doubles each. These next two stitches are going to get two single crochets in each stitch. This last stitch is going to get two half doubles. Last round. I'm going to put two double crochets into this first space, but after the first double, that's when your marker goes in there. And then your next double can go in that same space. So two doubles in the first space. Your next stitch will get two singles. Then you're going to do four single crochets, so one in each stitch. Try to be a little looser on your crocheting so it doesn't curve in too much. This next stitch is going to get two single crochets. These two at the top are going to get two double crochets in each stitch. This next 
stitch is going to get two single crochets. And then I want you to do four single crochets. And then I want you to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then two double crochets in this last stitch. And then fasten off. Skip one now. So because we're ending in a double, if we fastened off here it would look funny. So skip one, go into this next stitch and fasten off and it'll give that a rounder appearance. And a different shape. So I need a sewing tail. So this is your elongated eyeball with your elongated pupil. And then it's all gonna get sewn. Right about there. Sorta of, kinda, of. we're gonna sew the pupil to the white first and then we'll sew the white on. So, one right there, one right there. Well, I mean, roundabout-ish. Right there. So, go ahead and make your other eye white, because we already did our two pupils, so make your other white part of your eye, and then we'll come back here and put it all together. So I've got my other eye done. I'm going to take my 
black pupil. Um, this is my straggler from the where I started. I'm just going to pull that through to the back because I'm going to use that for tying. And then I'll sew with this and then I'll meet up with that guy at the back and I'll tie him together. So, um, this eye needs to be over closer to the edge on this side than on that side. And just make sure you keep it elongated that way when you sew. So, um, do your other pupil. Okie dokie. So hopefully, hopefully your eyes look like that. So if you wanted to put a little bit of uh, glinting um, we can put it in after. My pins. So we're going to put a picture of Bluey up so you can get an idea of where his eyes are supposed to be. So I'm telling you, if you stop right here, you can have an owl. Now it really looks like an owl. <laughs> now it really, really does. So we can sew the ears on so it stops looking like an owl. So there's got to be a significant space between his ears, but or insignificant space. So literally a finger. That's about all I can get in between his ears. So.
so the nose then goes on like this um, and then we'll do the black part and the nose that stuff on after and then we'll do that and then he'll look more like bluey All right, yep, still looks funny. So his arms, I one, two, three, four, five, sixth row down from your little color change jog there. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six, six rows down from the color change. I feel like my nose is too low. Let's get some black and get his nose done. You need a decently long piece. So, his nose kind of sits on top, so I'm not going to pull this all the way through. So you've got to start wide, and then work your way into sort of like a triangle. And you go over it like 50,000 times. Once you got it all puffy, you can start coming in a little bit. You get the idea. And then you just have to fill it in wherever you think it needs to be filled in.
So that's his nose. So for his white belly, we start off with a chain of 15. And we're going to do 14 single crochets back up. Chain one, turn to work. For the next five rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each stitch, chain one, and turn your work at the end of every row. So that's my five rows. We're gonna decrease, we're gonna do an SC3 tog. So that's basically single crochet three together. So these first three stitches, you're gonna go in and pull up a loop in the first one, and in the second one, and in the third one. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then I want you to do eight single crochet, and then do that SC3 tog again. That's eight single crochets. You should have three stitches left. You're gonna SC three tog these three. Chain one, turn your work. So now we're gonna SC two tog. To everyone knows that's just a regular decrease. So go into the first stitch, second stitch, yarn over, pull through all three, and you're gonna do six single crochets and then SC two tog again. and then SC2 tug. Chain one, turn your work. So to finish this off, you want to round, we want to round this out a little bit. So we're gonna skip the first stitch, which is kind of big and gobby anyway. And we're gonna go into the next stitch with a half double. And we're gonna do five of those all together. So that's number one. That's my five half doubles. We're gonna skip one, and in the last stitch, we're gonna fasten off. So, with a sewing tail, just about lost my voice. So that makes it nice and round on top. So now that my belly is sewn on, I think, uh, yeah, we'll do the eyebrows next. And then we'll get doing his spots and his tail. And then this guy is going to be all done. So his eyebrows start with a magic ring of six single crochets.
And for the next six rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these six stitches. Easy peasy. And you got to make two of them. Um, I will so oh, I lost my lost my stitch marker. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't stuff mine. So it's up to you whether you want to stuff them or not. I did not stuff mine. Ouch, that was my elbow bone on my table. Anyway, for the next six rows, one single crochet in each of these six stitches. I uh, will put the what you have to finish now, and then I will put the pattern up to, for you to make the next one, and then I'll meet you back here after all of that. So you're going to need a sewing tail, um, well, a tacking tail. I just tacked mine in place, but, um, so I just counted to 36. I didn't really use my marker. So we're going to cinch the one end closed just to keep it round. So front loops, in the front loop, out the front loop. So these sit up really close to the ears and not necessarily uh, my pen's out. not necessarily the uh, eyes, but I mean the eyes are right there. I'm going to put uh, There, something like that. Oh, <laughs> but maybe just a little more evener, evener. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna sew my stuff on right. Oh, that looks a little better. So this is the tail. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking, huh? And then our spots. Oh, I did a couple of spots on the back, but and then our spots. So this tail is pretty funny looking, but it's pretty easy peasy. So we're gonna start with the dark blue color. We're gonna make a magic ring of six single crochets. Next rounds can be two single crochets in each stitch. Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. That's one single crochet with your marker and then the next stitch gets the increase. That's two single crochets in the same space. 
and repeat. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. And this brings you up to 24 stitches. That's number one with the marker. Next stitch is number two. And then the next stitch is the increase of so two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next rounds three single crochets and an increase and this will bring it up to 30 stitches that's number one that's three single crochets and then your increase of so two single crochets in the same space and repeat Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 36 stitches. So that's my two rows. This is what you should have. So we're going to start decreasing now. We're going to do four single crochets and a decrease. That's number one. That's four single crochets. And then my decrease is just going to be a regular one. Next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 24 stitches. So it's looking pretty funny, pretty funny shaped. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. So this weird, awkward piece is what you should have going on. For the next five rows, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. And then we're going to switch to our light blue color. So I will see you on the other side. So I am on my last stitch and I'm going to go in and pull up a loop and I'm going to change to my light blue color. So 
So you should have this water balloon, deflated water balloon type looking thing. I guess not necessarily a water balloon, just a deflated balloon. <laughs> I don't know why I went straight to water. Anyway, you should have this funny looking, funny looking thing. And that's what we kind of need to do what we're going to do. But we'll do that after. For the next two rows, I just want you to keep putting one single crochet in each stitch. So I'm, I'm only counting, that's why I'm not using my marker in case you're wondering. So I'm back around after my two rows. So your next round is going to be um, a decrease row. So you're going to do seven single crochets to begin. So that's number one with my marker. That is seven single crochets. Sorry, that's my furnace, and I'm trying to figure out a way of not having it as involved in my videos as it is. <laughs> uh, okay, so decrease. A seven single crochets, and your decrease is going to be an SC3 tog. So pull up a loop into your first from your first stitch, pull up a loop from your second stitch, pull up a loop from your third stitch, yarn over and pull through all four and then do eight single crochets. So that should give you 16 stitches. For the next four rows, I want you to put one single crochet in each of these 16 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So this funny looking thing is what you should have. We better put some stuffing in it before we continue. I wouldn't be overly too concerned about the light blue part, but I do want significant stuffing. I mean, not, not tough where you can't do anything with it stuffing at the end, but um, enough because we're gonna, we have to shape it at the end. So I need enough stuffing for that to happen but not enough that I can't shape it. Do you know what I mean? Like not overly full, but full. <laughs> Am I making any sense? So it's full, but it's still squishy enough for me to be able to manipulate it. You get what I'm saying? I didn't want to put a whole lot of stuffing in this because I didn't want this to weight down the doll because it is a fairly large tail. Anyway, we'll finish building it and then we'll do what we're going to do at the end to make it look that way. So your next round is going to be another decrease round. So I want you to do seven single crochets. We're decreasing in the same spot we were before. So that's my seven single crochets, and then I want you to do an SC3 tog again. And then this time it's going to be six single crochets. Back to your marker, and this leaves you with 14 stitches. So 
So your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 14 stitches. And we're going to decrease again. So I want you to do seven single crochets. And now I just want you to do an SC2 tog. So just in the next two stitches, just do a regular decrease and then five single crochets back to your marker. So now you have a total of 13 stitches and I want you to put one single crochet in each of those 13 stitches. So all of this stuff, the decreases, will be on the under part of the tail. You're never ever going to see that. So the last decrease I want you to do is a one single crochet decrease. You're only going to be able to do it four times and you're going to have an extra stitch. So that's my four times around with my extra one single crochet and that leaves you eight stitches. So we can fasten off the sewing tail. Finish stuffing it. So do not write this next part in the PDF on how you shape the tail because I didn't know how to write it in the PDF on how you shape the tail. Sometimes making a PDF is quite difficult because I don't know how to word things that's going to be helpful for everybody and there was just no way of, of writing this. So again, I'm not putting a whole lot of stuff in because I don't want the weight of it. So, because we're probably going to sew it, like we're going to whip stitch across this way. And actually, I didn't, I didn't whip stitch mine at all. Now that I'm lying to you, I did not whip stitch mine. I sewed it on open. So we need to make this tail. It's hard to see. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, it's hard to see. It does help him stand up on his own, though, I got to tell you. So, because the tail's getting sewn on open, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we do this. So, you need just to get some of this blue color. And a needle. So, it's up to you, really, how you do this. We need three parts. So... Find your first, where you want your first part to be, and we're going to do a, a ginormous whip stitch, let's put it that way. So this needs to be wherever you want your first section to be, and then you're just going to pull both pieces like that. and then tie it in place. You're going to weave that down. No one's going to see it. No one's going to see it. No one's going to notice it. So 
So once both pieces are pulled in, the knot gets pulled in. So don't really worry about where you're tying the knot. My biggest problem is this stuffing. It drives me crazy. So for the next one, try to come in around the same area that you just did this one. kind of hard to tell but try to and then do your ginormous whip stitch just make sure it's in a good spot and then you're gonna pull so that's how we make the tail shape And then you've got your tail shape and you can make that as large as you want like if you wanted to come down lower and make even bigger sections like I think I even did with my other tail I made bigger sections oh sorry with my other tail so they're probably not all gonna look the same and then I sew this on open So you can put him as high or as low as you want. Either way, his tail actually helps him stand up, so. All right, so I'm done sewing my tail on. I'll first tell you what I did. I just did a whip stitch, as you saw. And then I went around with a mattress stitch, as you saw. And then I didn't add it to the video because it's just me being cautious. But I went, well, actually, it's more about aesthetics. I went around a third time with a mattress stitch, going up higher and going out further. Um, because it, just to make it look decent, so that's what mine looks like sewn on. And I know it's a lot of work and everyone, everyone's like, I don't know why you do that. Um, that's what I prefer. Anyway, look at, he stands up on his own. <laughs> I love this tail. I mean, it comes in handy. Um, so I'm just going to weave. I got really nothing to tie this to, which <laughs> doesn't sit well with me. So I like to just grab a small little piece of yarn to make a knot. I just really make sure that the knot is pushed right down and is super duper small. And then I pull it in to the doll like that. So the knot's not on the outside, it's on the inside. Just because I'm not a fan of not being able to, like I can weave until the cows come home, but um, yeah, I uh, don't know if that would even hold. Like say you had to wash this guy because your baby puked on it. So <laughs> I just think I just like to do little extra things that don't really matter. Let me zoom out because we are just about done this guy. So, um, the only thing left is the little dots on his back. And I mean, you can make them 
any size that you want. You don't have to do what I'm doing. And I only put a couple because, I don't know, it's a blue healer and they do have spots, but um, I only did a couple just because it didn't really matter to me, but it might matter to you. So, um, yeah, so I just did a magic ring of six single crochets. Come back down here. So two single crochets in each stitch is your next round. Your next rounds can be one single crochets and an increase. one single crochet and then your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space and that is it that's what I did for the dot so like I said you can make them different sizes if you want I just did two made them the same size I think this one though maybe I'll just make it smaller because this is a pretty big dot so maybe my next one I'll just do a magic ring of six single crochets and then two single crochets in each stitch. Fasten off and that's your one dot. However many dots you want to make, completely up to you. Like I said, my in my next dot, I think I'll just leave that last row out. So I'll do my my magic ring and then two single crochets in each stitch. So that's my other one. So while we sew these on, I just want to say a few words. Um, I want to thank my su channel supporters. So anybody that has joined my channel membership that um, gets, you know, my free PDFs, you know, like the channel memberships. Anybody that's joined that or anybody that has sent me um, a super thanks or anybody that uh, has bought anything from my merch shop um, and anybody that you know makes comments on my videos like everybody that supports me anybody who likes my videos this is all support that really goes a long way anybody that shares my videos I just want to thank everybody um, the little bit of money that I've made from all of that um, I'm able to actually purchase a light for the top of my camera. So, so hopefully the videos are a little bit <laughs> brighter. So I just wanted to say thank you while we were sewing this business on. Any money that's made from your support goes right back into the channel. There we go. And we're all done. Turn to set him down with his tail. Thanks for joining me, guys. I really hope you like this, this guy. This was a request. So, huge shout outs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, this guy. He's super cute. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.